You know, anytime, anytime you win here, we, we have so much respect for this program, and all the difficult games we've had with Creighton and then in this building, which is one of the best buildings in college basketball. So you, you get a win in here, you appreciate it. You really do. Um, and, and you value it. Um, I think they called a tough break not having a starter. I think we were able to take advantage of that a little bit because um, they had to play a little smaller. I think it, it wore them down a little bit not having the uh, – not having the depth at the end, I think that was good for us. Mano, Mano did a great job stepping up. Uh, Demir Cosby Roundtree's got a little issue with his uh, his uh, tibia and uh, just sore. He can play, but sore. And, and Mano stepped up. It was awesome. Um, so great, great win in this building against this great program. Hey, the second half, would you say that was probably the best defense you've played this year? Yeah, probably, Joe. Yep. And. Uh, and again, I think when, when you can, you know, when, when Mano can play there forward, um, and then also switch switch out on the perimeter, like they got a couple, you know, inside they sealed him a couple times, but he had a couple block shots, he a couple rebounds, um, a couple contests to force them to miss, and then he guarded on the perimeter, he guarded their guards. That that was a big difference. Phil, I mean, Piazza was just starting the second half. He hit him with a big run, he misses the lead back, hit him again. I guess where does that switch come from in you? To, I guess you just know it's you got to make a play for your team, or is it part of I guess your guys' DNA or something? I think it's more part of the team we have and how um, resilient we are, and uh, we become mentally tough. You know, just being down a lot throughout the season, uh, just learn how to just stay doing what we do and fight back and stay aggressive no matter what happens. So I think it's more speaks to the to the value of the team and how much they've installed that. Phil, how do you know when it's like your time? I mean, the second half. Uh, you looked for your shot and, 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 and made it. Uh, is that like a, like a feeling you had or something that you felt you had to do coming out for the second half? No, I, I tried to stay aggressive the whole game. You know, I tried in the first half, and uh, they did great things defensively, uh, switched on different looks, and uh, shots went down in the second half. But I think as a, as a team, we just uh, try to stay aggressive. Obviously, on the road, experienced guys like that need to make plays like that if you're going to be successful. But just what is it about filling moments where you need it you know, down nine in the second half, that could probably get away from me if he doesn't make the plays he does. Yeah, probably more than anyone in college basketball, if you think about it, you know, uh, in his freshman year, um, you know, in, in the NSA tournament, he, he he carried us in a big-time game. What, what year was the 16? Sophomore year? Uh, yeah, sophomore. sophomore year, championship game, leading score in the game. He just got he, – he's got a, a, an incredible um, humility about him where when you need him, He's there, and if you don't need him, he's doing all the little things, and he's not, you know, he's not complaining. He's doing all the little things. It's it, it's what makes him a great leader, and and a great player. It was like to have other people step up, like Colin Jermaine, uh, today. I think it's what Phil and Eric have done a great job of is staying patient with these guys, teaching these guys, being an example for these guys until they, you know, they started getting comfortable stepping up, and that's that's the growth of our team. That's what we need. You know, we could be sitting here, um, you know, seven and ten, and waiting for those guys. But but Phil and E have carried us. But now Jermaine's really starting to improve. I think Javon Quinnley gave us great minutes today. Sadiq is starting to get better. Um, and you know, even playing with the injury with uh, Demir today, um, Joe Cremo gave us good minutes. So it, it's it's what we need if we're going to be a good team. You know, Phil and E can't carry us the whole season. They'll get worn down. Um, but the, the, the younger guys are really starting to come, and, and that's what we're going to have to do to get road games and beat good teams like Creighton. Jermaine, from your perspective, what is the key to defending their ball screens and just um, you know, keeping them off balance? Um, well, for us, we were just focusing on um, communicating with each other and uh, switching up uh, different coverages. But overall, just trying to play hard and you know be there for our teammates when they came off the ball screens. That way, we didn't give them any looks, and we could stay in front of them. Jay, I guess Mar Martin Crample hurt you guys pretty good in the first half. What did you do in the second to just make the entry passes difficult to make his touches limited in the post? I thought I thought Jermaine just did a great job in the second half uh, when uh, when he got caught low on him, um, just just fighting around him. And then we did get caught on switches a couple times when we had guards in there, and the guards did a good job fighting. I mean, he still got us a couple times, but. Um, you know, I don't know. I didn't see his stat. What did he end up with? Uh, he finished with uh, 
Fourteen, yeah, ten in the second half. And yeah. All four were late after you guys were Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's a tough thing about playing them. They got all those three-point shooters, but Crumple inside is really good. So I, I just thought we did a good job balancing, not letting him kill us, and still guarding the three. Jay, what, anything special uh, with Alexander in the second half? He really hurt you in the first half and only scored five in the second half. <laughs> you know, we just tried to keep it out of his hands, but that was the plan in the first half, too. Just did a better job. Sometimes... With an inexperienced team, we we just get to halftime and and it's it's more like, okay, we got to stick to the same game plan. We just have to do it better, you know. And that that's really what it was. We, we were trying to keep it out of his hands early, but we did a great job in the second half. Yes, last year you were you were up eight with four thirty to go, and it was kind of a similar lead in time today. Um, when Pascal comes down and hits that early three, um, you guys stayed aggressive offensively. But was that part of the plan in the timeout? Was the Keep the foot on the gas and not, I guess, get um, maybe take the air of the ball. I guess. Yeah, they, they they went one three one, and that's that's a serious mind game for you, you know, because you can get threes quickly, but you have a lead, and and you now he's he's a very good coach, so he knows that's going to force quick shots, so it messes with your mind, and we, so we want to make it clear to our guys, we're not worrying about taking quick shots, you know, let's if we get them, let's take them, and you know, thank God the guys hit them. Uh, I wouldn't say the special emphasis is more of just us playing hard, you know, trying to, you know, get on the glass as much as possible. We know that they like to, you know, run and um, try to secure the ball, you know, and get a good possession. Any other questions? Thank you, guys. Thank you.